Okay, this is uh, the patient forum at the uh, European Congress of Epileptology held on Thursday morning on the initiative also of the president, Pre uh, Professor Trinka, who pointed out just, out just at the beginning that is the first time that we do such an initiative on the uh, European Congress and that will be continued. Professor Strelczyk from Frankfurt lo looked at the point who decide how well uh, therapy and treatments are adhered on by patients and which factors may influence that and we can improve adherence of patients to stick on treatment recommendations. Uh, second, Eugen Trinker gave a wonderful overview over the treatment possibilities with new medications which will help the patients and also the non-medical interventions that can also help patients like epilepsy surgery. Uh, Dr. Unterberger looked how can we help patients in acute seizure, what has to be done and what has to be essentially not done. This is also important not to take mistakes on doing wrong things on patients. And Professor Marta Feucht uh, also uh, did the same on the level of kids and neonates, etc. So Epipicto is actually a new funded project. It's what's called an Erasmus Plus, which helps lifelong education for persons in general in Europe. The aim of this is to develop a pictorial guide that is a guide, basically just pictures, very little text, for those people who might find it difficult to communicate about their epilepsy. People like migrants who might not might have language problems or literacy problems, people who are the margins of society, so people who live in isolated communities, and it will be a way of themselves understanding what epilepsy is, using pictures, explaining how they're feeling perhaps to their doctor or to their relatives and friends, um, what epilepsy is, uh, and also how they feel and what it is exactly. Since it is a new funded project, we are actually five countries on the project, so it's Malta, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands, and Scotland, the UK. Um, it will be open access, so once the guide is ready, the pictures will be available for everybody to use, of course, with acknowledgement to the project, and the little text there is can be translated into all languages. Hello, I am president for the Dravi European Federation. We are here and we organize this uh, symposium for uh, uh, knowledge uh, about uh, Dravi syndrome. This year is 13 years of Dravi syndrome and we are very happy to have uh, fabulous speakers and fantastic topic to help uh, uh, to live, uh, the family to live with Dravi syndrome with more information than possible. So we have a great opportunity to grow up uh, with this fantastic information. And I'm one of the speakers and it's really exciting to be part of the Drave community and to see so many professional people coming to today to learn about the state of the art in Drave syndrome which is changing really rapidly with lots of exciting developments. We had experienced five really exciting and stimulating days of the Congress. The 13th uh, European Congress on Epileptology in Vienna comes to an end. The best highlight, bringing my mentor, who was the oldest participant, almost the oldest one, 88 years old, Professor Rafi Mishulam, the forefather of cannabinoids. See you again in two years' time.